What's up with you guys? Today I will share my top tips of how to protect yourself in the internet from being hacked. If you are new to this channel, my name is Yaniv Hoffman and I am an IT professional and cybersecurity expert. My goal is to contribute from my experience and knowledge to create awareness on cybersecurity. Let's start. So in this era of fast computing and digital information, we do see the crime rate is increasing. With the introduction of Internet of Things, automation, movement of applications, more to be public facing and online, moving our uh, needs online, it definitely creates a need for a better cybersecurity. Cyber threats have become widespread and all over the world especially in the US. Steps are being taken to protect user identities online. In addition to this, data and privacy regulations are also being followed in the European and in the US, since the world has seen a major shift towards technological adoption in the past decade. A security awareness culture is very important. Here are seven ways to protect yourself online and not being hacked. Number one, ensure policies and access control. A dynamic policy determines whether or not the access to data and resources is granted. Many behavioral and environmental attributes are included. Some other factors, like the nature of application or service, the state of client identity requesting the assets, are also put into consideration. So there are three main policies and controls I would recommend to take actions about. First is access control policies. An access control policies deploy access control mechanisms across assets and files. Such policies secures the underlying infrastructure of the organization. This verifies users' authenticity before they get access to a resource or asset. Second is strong password policy. This is again an important security policy. Many times intruders or activists attempt to break into systems by guessing or performing brute force attack to steal password and thus getting access to important credentials which they use to steal important information from system. Thus a password policy is important that is strong enough to secure the system. Last and not least is network access control. And under this policy, the assets on the network are kept secure and protected from outside intrusions. For example, the email server and the file servers are there on the network and can only be directly accessible via the authorized user. A NAC solution can be implemented to deploy this policy. This ensures vendor security, incident response, bring your own device security, and a lot of uh, forification issues. Second tip is protect the network. Actually, it's to protect the network which we, you use to access the internet. And here are the tips for doing so. One, deploy a multi-vendor firewall. Second, keep antivirus up to date. Third, perform automated backups frequently. Four, enable two-factor authentication. Five, restrict user from accessing unauthorized data. Six, encrypt office equipment with BitLocker. Seven, provide quarterly security training to all employees and stakeholders. And eight, protect company Wi-Fi and encourage the use of VPNs. Third, implement email best practices. So email is a very common way today to communicate with others, right? And many hackers, of course, know that and try to exploit or leverage that by sending mails from strangers or look very formal and official to try to lure you to click on some uh, attachment, 
steal your uh, credential or maybe download a malicious uh, code into your system. So first, I do recommend not to open any mails from strangers. Second, not to click any file that finish with an exe format. And third, definitely do not click on any suspicious links or links that are coming from strangers. Four is ensure password policies. And passwords are the way for us to protect our valuable information. And if you didn't see my video about weak password, this is an opportunity to learn more about it. So you can click here below to this uh, video. Yet, I want to give you tips very quickly. One, change your password regularly. Second, use strong passwords. Third, password must be long and hard to guess. And fourth, change default passwords. Fifth tip is avoid sharing financial and personal information. Personal information sharing on social media websites and in mails can make the system vulnerable. It is because many times hackers get their hands to this personal information with social engineering methods. It is recommended to verify roles and permissions at every entry point of the web server. Tip number six, trust no one. Implement a zero trust concept. Zero Trust Architecture eliminates the concept of data breaches. The idea is to implement a strategy of a never trust, always verify. It is achieved by network segmentation, implementing layer 7 security and preventing lateral movement. According to the makers of Zero Trust models, trust is considered as vulnerability. In Zero Trust model, all network requests are cuttered as if the network has been, have been compromised. Thus, simple requests are also considered as threats. The day-to-day -day activities might also be like a zero-trust architecture post. Trust no one. Tip number seven, implement an end-to-end -end compliance. This is a fully traceable process in order to connect external regulatory events to a particular obligation first the internal business policy and security procedures. Thank you for watching this video and hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye.